No other industry is experiencing significant and rapid transformation comparable to the 3D industry. Disruption is occurring in all areas from conceptual art to 3D animation, model creation, sculpting and uh, more. This is undoubtedly the most rapidly expanding and developing industry in the world with major advances and features being introduced every year, month and week. Today let's explore some fantastic new technologies that, that are either currently available or soon to be released. A team of researchers from the University of British Columbia, in collaboration with Electronic Arts or EA, the company responsible for FIFA and many other top tier video games, has developed a physics based system that can animate and control a football player without any, any human intervention. This system is capable of integrating a variety of motor skills necessary to juggle us a ball successfully by observing hundreds of professional football players. The system was able to learn how to juggle a ball and perform other tricks on its own. Additionally, this system is not limited to just playing with a football and can handle different shapes as well. The researchers use deep reinforcement learning to teach the system soccer juggling skills involved using a layer-wise mixture of expert neuro, neuro work policy for efficient learning. A new version of Character Creator 4 with dynamic rating system has also been released. Animating characters can be a challenging and time-consuming process, but creating animated character faces is even more difficult. This is why most games, including AAA titles, tend to feature characters with limited facial expressions. This is usually done for optimization and time-saving purposes, as animating facial expressions requires a significant amount of time and effort. The character's face must have enough polygons to accommodate the necessary bending and wrinkles for the expressions. Also, many studios have a set polygon budget or a maximum number of polygons per character. If too many polygons are allocated to the face to allow for a greater range of facial expressions, it will leave fewer polygons for other areas of the character. However, Character Creation 4 promises a system that won't affect performance. The proprietary general wrinkle system is designed to seamlessly enhance the appearance of characters of all ages, genders, and ethnicities. This system generates wrinkles and bends perfectly with the character's skin tone and fully compatible with skin gen layer systems. The advanced character creator wrinkle shader enables high resolution multi texture bending without sacrificing real time performance. Godot 4, within this week, the long-awaited Godot 4 is officially here and it's like a whole new game engine. After three years of breaking and rebuilding from ground up, Godot 4 has received a core, a complete core overhaul and, and a full engine rewrite through 17 alphas, 17 betas and 6 release candidates. Godot 4 now comes with a few new renderers and now has two new Vul Vulkan backends, including the cluster and mobile. The Godot Global Illumination System has also been remade from scratch. For the first time ever, Godot 4 introduces a novel real-time global illumination technique for large open worlds SDFGI or sign distance field global illumination. Godot 4 has also some more exciting and long-awaited features including volumetric fog and more. This week we also want to look at some new amazing add-ons like the wear and tear for Blender that lets you add damage to any to any model that you throw at it. This add-on also gives you a level of control that you need to create such detailed environments uh, that are destroyed, damaged or collapsing uh, for your scenes. If you want to get this add-on, uh, the link is provided in the description and all other links uh, that you want to read through. <music> Another add-on I would like to share this week is the Seamless Crowd Simulation by Crowd Fashionista. This could be three add-ons in one. It's a library of animated characters that you can pause and add animation to. It's also a fashion add-on that you can use to dress up your character. And finally, it's a, it's a crowd simulator that you can use to populate your world. If you like this type of content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. Thank you.